Now let me show you how to transfer your data, your scan project from Morocco to PC and merge two scans into one complete scan on PC Rebel Scan. And note that uh, Morocco does not have the merging function yet. It will be added soon in the future. Okay, so sometimes you might feel that you don't, you can't scan an object in the one complete scan. For example, this uh, thing here, the middle area is bulky, so it might be difficult to scan the bottom area completely. It might have uh, some blank, some holes right here. So in this case, you don't have to do it in one scan. You can choose to scan the top area and then flip it over and scan the bottom area and merge them together. Okay, so first let me show you how to do uh, to, to transfer the, your data from Morocco to PC. And note that one thing is, when you want to scan something and transfer to PC, it's better to click into the model list and choose new project. If not, this is might gonna happen is if sometimes you forget and you put a lot of scans under one same project, it'll make this project very big in file size. So it'll take you longer to transfer. Okay, so now let's create a new project right here and uh, check the settings, okay. And let's scan the, the top area first. Okay, that's about right. And as you can see, because of the bulky middle area, I cannot scan the bottom area with no holes in it. Now it's already not connected. Okay, now let's save it. And note that you don't have to uh, do the processing on Morocco and then you transfer to PC. You can just save the raw data and transfer the project to PC Rebel Scan, do the post-processing there. Okay, now let's uh, create another scan and a scan from... Uh, ah. Aha! Uh -huh. So yeah, always be creative and be smart. It's very useful for a successful scan, okay? Okay, now let's scan the, the bottom area. Okay, so second scan done. So now let's transfer this project with two scans from Morocco to PC. One way to do it is you can connect your Morocco uh, with PC via a cable. I'm not going to show you that. It's very easy. After you, uh, after you connect it, it'll just pop up and let you choose what project you want to transfer. Another way to do it is via Wi-Fi. So for example, now we are at the, the, the post-processing page. You can click this share button on the right front corner, or you can go back and do it here in the model list page. See, this is the, the project we want to transfer. You can click this, the three dots, and there is a share button here. You can click this share. So now uh, I'm, show you, I'm gonna show you in, the, in Wi-Fi mode. Okay. And then under File on the PC Rebel Scan file, choose this import from phone. I know this is not a phone, right? It, this is a portable scanning device. So consider this as a phone. We do that is because we uh, we integrate the phone Rebel Scan app together with Morocco. So yeah, anyway, uh, connect to your phone and enter this verification code. Now it's 1817. Now we just input 1817. and just wait for the data being transferred. Okay, done. So now we can put the Morocco scanner away and let's do it on the PC only. So as you can see, this is th these two are just raw scan data. So first we need to fuse it. And how to use Rebel Scan PC software, you can refer to another video we make. And well, anyway, it's almost the same, like I just showed you, the PC Rebel Scan function. For example, this one-click edit is just the same with the one-tap edit on Morocco, and the fuse, fuse, fusing and meshing is almost the same. So let's and note that before you merge two scans together. For example, now I click merge, I can't because only after fused, then two models can be merged together. So first, let's uh, fuse the first, the top area. Let's choose apply. Point distance is zero point one eight. 
Okay, and it's, it will be faster to do the post-processing on PC compared to on Miracle. I, oh, of course, because I have a gaming PC with a very good CPU and graphic card. But if you have a very big file, a big scan, you want to proceed faster, you can choose to transfer it to PC for the post-processing. Okay, second one. So it's better to set the point distance the same for the two scans if, that you want to merge together. Okay, so same point zero, uh, 0 0.18 and apply. Okay, done. Now let's clean it a little bit to make sure better that we can merge it more better successful. Okay, so let's just cut it this way. And for this one, let's also cut it a little bit. Just tight, tidy it up. Okay. Now let's click this merge and choose the two models we want to merge together. There are two options. One is feature, the other is marker. Let's use feature for the uh, for this kind of feature rich object. So it'll automatically detect the features on the two scans, the two 3D model and the, the software will recognize that and align them together. So let's just preview the alignment. Okay, boom, done. Now we can generate the model. Okay, so now we have a third model which is merged from one and from two. So now we can continue to do the meshing for the third model that we just merged. Uh, I'm, just, uh, I'm just showing you. Okay, let's just uh, mesh it and show you the final result. Okay, boom, looks good, right? So we don't have to scan it in the entire scan once. We can scan it definitely always. You can even scan it in several parts, like one, two, three, no problem. 